recording. Happy Bow Tie Friday. <laughs> Uh, this, this video is for people who are super into scaffold ETH and want to get a heads up on how the yarn forking is starting to come together and how the swap component is starting to come together and how we can impersonate accounts and try out things on mainnet using scaffold ETH kind of locally. Uh, you, you were hinting at something when we were just talking about this, about how when you like to prototype something, you like to build it into the front end and kind of trigger it all like with just console logs and stuff. But what's interesting about that prototyping method is once you're done prototyping, you're like three fourths of the way toward having a product, right? Then it's just like drawing the thing. So it's a it's a kind of a special way to prototype where Scaffold ETH has everything set up for you. You can kind of just like try things out, get it thinking the way you want it to go and then attack it. Yeah, because often, it, and. So where this whole thing obviously started was we wanted to start building a bit more DeFi. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so then that means you obviously want to main net fork rather than any, an, anything else. But is then one of the, those things where if you've got a local fork of mainnet running, suddenly basically all of like all of Ethereum is available to you. And so this is like Uniswap, but yeah, as like you said, I'm running the same sort of thing with, um, with Aave and yeah, it's literally, if you've got the ABI, that, then you're basically off to the races. And um, yeah, it's easy to get carried away making some cool Closability, <laughs> get carried away, I like that. We, and I had a session with the Ethernaut and he set up, he used a mainnet fork to go through a bunch of transactions just to make sure they were gonna work the way he thought they would. And then he actually takes the call data. Once he knows it's gonna work, he takes a call data and he's putting it into Etherscan with each transaction. So he's just using the mainnet fork to craft the call data that he knows it works wow. and then he does it manually. But really like this might be a little smoother method and this might, we'll, we'll have to show him this when we get it all working. So he can do the same thing and actually just have maybe buttons that will trigger on his MetaMask and he won't have to go to Etherscan. Let me share my screen first. Boom, there we are. Okay, and so we are looking specifically at the Uniswapper branch, right? And I've pulled that down here in Yarn installed. And if I do a Yarn start, now you won't want to do a Yarn chain, right? We, we aren't going to run a local chain here. We're actually gonna do a Yarn fork. And this is so cool. It's going to take the current state of mainnet and kind of like do a little magic for us. And so we can make some changes locally and it will feel like we're on mainnet, but actually the local changes will stay local and mainnet kind of stays where it is. And it lets you kind of try things and see what things would happen on mainnet. So there we go. So now we have what looks like mainnet Ethereum. If I were to go to, let's, let's do this. Let's do a little ETH build real quick. Let's go to, uh, we're gonna go, gonna bring in a blockchain and we're gonna look at our local chain. Uh oh, what did I do there? Boop, 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 boop. Let's get the block number. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so here is our local, and, and we'll come back to this for like checking balances and stuff. But now we we can we're going to local host as if it's our local like uh, hard hat node or ganache, but actually it's it's mainnet and it's on a specific block and it's probably not going to change right. There's we're not going to see a block change until some transaction happens. So it starts to work like hard hat or ganache works after you forked. No more blocks get created and still, until you trigger them with with transactions. Is that right? Yeah. So if you yeah, if you go to the package JSON, that will probably um, in the it'll give you a sense of sort of how. Uh, and, and I guess it's not this one. So you can see fork. We're, we're basically just looking into the um, into the hard hat module because this is something that's super easy out of the, out of the box. And like it's basically as simple as that. Like all we're doing is we're running like hard hat node, except past this fork parameter, which is basically pointing to the, um, like whatever the chain is that we want to fork. So this is just using our inferior, um, the inferior that we use elsewhere in, in scaffold ETH. Um, and so that's, that's basically what we're using for this information. Like, like the one, the one caveat, the one gotcha with this is that we're, we're using inferior, which, which isn't running like an archive node, which means that, um, after a while, cause basically the way it kind of works is that, um, if we want need information um, that's not in our sort of local chain, it goes and looks like uses this basically this URL to get like to get proxies the it. Yeah. Yeah. And so and and 
like because InfraNote doesn't have like all of archive history. Um, after a time, maybe like an hour or so, um, you're like it'll basically it won't it'll be it'll be out of date. It won't have the um, essentially the look back that we need. Um, so you can replace this with a an archive node provider. So Alchemy API like has a free like option to to this. So uh, replace this thing here with an archive node. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, and then much. that would let us pin a block farther back than two fifty six. Yeah, so you could yeah you could pin a yeah that pin a block further back and or you could also yeah just leave your local chain running. I don't know what other people are like, but I find that sometimes I've like been working on the same local chain for for ages. <laughs> that's, not, that's probably not good practice, but um, but yeah. Okay, so I I brought in so I I I saw that my account has so this is my burner wallet right and I don't want to show my private key off but that is a burner wallet and it actually has sixty four dollars of mainnet ETH in it and that I wasn't sure about that so I had to go look but sure enough here we are uh, on on actual mainnet ether scan and I do have sixty four dollars in that burner wallet and I double checked it here this this guy is asking local node. Uh, cool. Okay. So let's see. Uh, I kind of want to connect my MetaMask. Like I kind of want to do this for real and, and we'll show off this one problem that happens right away. If you've got your MetaMask pointed at mainnet Ethereum, it's going to tell you, yo, 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 like you gotta, you gotta be very careful right now. Cause you were talking what it feels like mainnet. So make sure you're not on mainnet. And, and what you need to do there is basically take your MetaMask and shift that to your local host RPC. Make sure it's going to local host 8545. And then when you connect it, there we go. Okay, so, and that will update, there we go. So there is my mainnet balance from austingriffith.eth, but actually we can make transactions now and it's not for real, right? Yeah, yeah, and and we were saying that like the best way to, to check this is to, to give yourself a load of, you can use the- Yes, use the let's do that first. To kind of prove just to that. be safe let's like give me a million dollars so i know if i have a million dollars that's not real life and, <laughs> and 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 it's a little safer how so that's impersonating accounts right what let's go through those steps what do we do to uh basically we need to find some holder of a lot of die and send ourselves some of that die is that right yeah so, it's, so this one th this bit isn't isn't out, like on this branch but um the other thing hard kind of lets you do is it lets you impersonate a um yeah, uh, it, is it lets you impersonate an account. Um, so there's sort of kind of two two things you need to do here. So if you go down, 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 um, this is like a impersonating account session. And like, this is kind of what we've already covered with the RPCs. Yeah. So so this yeah. So this is um, impersonating accounts. It's basically um, there are two things you do. Firstly, and and this is focused on doing it from like within a sort of hard hat sort of file where you're actually running it but you can do this from the from our front end as well where you basically just need to call call like call it with quite a specific call which basically says i want to, to be able to impersonate this account um and then hard hat basically lets you actually get a signer for that account and then essentially execute transactions at, at like as that account um so maybe i can could we like yeah can we set up a button in scaffold eth that does so this is the part that i'm not sure how we would do anywhere else do we do that from a script or can we figure out how to do that from the front end so we can do that in the front end. I've got something Dope. that's might work. Okay. I, wonder, I, might, I might even have been taking your ETH in this example. So I don't know what the- You be. son of a gun. That's not gonna work. I don't have enough, I don't have enough ETH to make it look like there's a lot. <laughs> you, we need we need like Vitalik level ETH. So you know, it's like, whoa, this is, <laughs> this is a lot of ETH. Yeah, so I dropped it into the chat. Awesome. Just, okay. Just oh, the chat. Oh man, you're gonna make me search through zoom ui got it okay here it is you probably can't see this huh is, is this covered up do you see the window yeah. i'm moving around no you don't see it okay let's go oh dope okay so this is a function you want me to put this right in the app jsx probably um yes yeah probably in there. if you put it in there um we can like talk to what it's doing and well, that's actually okay not yeah let's... So, so in terms of what we're doing here um we're saying this is like get impersonating signer. And I think I actually, um, then actually, I think this is just one thing. So it's actually all doing, it's not just getting the impersonating signer, it's actually making a transaction. So basically get an account to impersonate and that that's an address. So you can put anything in there. Um, and then you uh, basically um, send this one 
transaction to your local provider. So um, essentially hard hat impersonate account, um, which is, and then the account you want to impersonate. Um, Man, this formatting, what do you, what do you got over there? Okay, there, there we go. I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I can't get it to like even auto format. Give me something. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's right there, right? No. Wait, now I've, oh, 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 oh. I would, that should do it, right? No, I got to have it selected. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's, that's where it's why. It's like, yep, I'm happy with this. This is good. Yeah, okay. Perfect. This is fine. This is fine. Moi. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Oh, you were in person that Amy. You turkey. Okay, so what we'll need to do is come up with, can I even search for what is, what is Vitalik's? uh what uh eth address oh well we we can do this even better we can go oh we can just ask for vitalik dot look we could do it right in we could do it right here pull this up type yeah there's a better way there it is okay that's 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 the one i want oh it's not gonna let me Ooh, did i get it i did not uh does that mean his reverse resolver isn't set why is that there we go. I got it. Whatever. Okay. And assuming he has, has he got any? Oh, I bet he has tons of shit coins. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Million dollars. Well, what do we want? What do we want? We want some die. He has six dollars a die. Come on, V. What are we gonna get? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. That that not a good example. Who else might have more die? Let's see. So I guess like like we could just take we could just take his ETH, ETH, ETH in this moment. <laughs> How about my dude Mariano? Mariano, how, you got some you got some die for us? There we go. He's got well, I have more than that. <laughs> None of these uh, we we need we need some degenerate account, right? There probably is like a perfectly good die account. Let's see. Can we go to the die contract and look at holders? Yeah, if you got to do you should be able to do that. We should have just done that in the first place, huh? There we go. Let's go here and then let's go to holders and then let's find a whale. Oh, look, oh, the compound. Wait, can we impersonate a contract address? Yeah, yeah, I think you can do whatever you want. Oh, man. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, it's always weird. There we go. There we go. There it is. There we go. All right. Now we have a die whale. Okay. And we're going to call the impersonate and then we take over the signer. Console log, get the balance. Ooh, and then we have it send us a transaction. I see what's going on here. Okay, so then we want that to send to, right, right, that should, right. That should work. Although this is so, this is just going to send their ETH. This is going to send um, send you that. I mean, like all of their ETH. Yep, that's what we're going for. I think that's what we want, right? Yeah. Um. Snatch. I'm gonna snatch. Don't snatch. All right, here we go. Oops. 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 <laughs> there we go. All right. One button click. Here we go. Dun dun dun. Boop. Oh, you know what? We should have wrapped the TX. Oh, I didn't like that. Let's wrap this with the TX. Do we have the transaction helper in here so we get a little notification? Uh, it doesn't mm -hmm. look like it's here. Oh yeah, it is right there. Yeah, you can do that. Let's just wrap these guys just so we can see. Uh, I don't know if that works like that, to be honest. I might not mess with that. Okay, let's let's just put, I was thinking that would work with my ENS address. Is it possible that that didn't work the way we want? Let's see what happens when we snatch now. Nope. Oof. Something with this. Um, so it doesn't seem to like your. Um, I Let's think check it that console. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. What's the what's the address we're using? Yeah, we don't. I, I don't think we have an ETH balance there. I think we need the ETH balance. Oh, this is for ETH. Oh, right, right. This is grabbing ETH. Oh, darn it. We could have used Vitalik's address then. I see. I was thinking we were going to grab die, but that's a whole different thing. We have to go to the die contract and trigger a transfer from this. So we we do a we do a transfer from here. 
yeah we could yeah, yeah. bring that in later probably do we have the external do we have the die contract here um i've got a i've got it i've got it there here. it is yeah it's there if this is easy i'm going to switch it over to the die contract but it might not be we would need nope let me let me do that. Nah, it's all right. It's all right. Let's just do this with ease. Let's just do this with ease. Too, too much of a side quest. Okay. So basically I need to borrow, let's go borrow some ETH from Vitalik. He has eight ether in here. Okay. Well, let's just do it anyways. We're going to borrow all of Vitalik's eight ETH. There we go. Now I have fifteen thousand dollars. I have my my four plus his five, right? And so my balance was four. That should probably update in a second. Oh yeah, it did. Okay. And then if we trade all twelve of my ETH for fourteen thousand die, now that we've borrowed some from Vitalik, we know that if I was trying to move twelve ETH on the exchange accidentally in mainnet, this should fail anyways. Just kind of having a fail safe, just like just to be sure. And this is going to get us these. Uh, these 12 ETH are going to get us 14,000 die, which is uh, pretty cool. Price of ETH has gone up <laughs> recently. All right. And it tells us, and we go, oh, where's the, we need the, the TX follower. Oh, it hasn't happened yet. Ooh, and when you land here, make for darn sure you see that a local host there. Uh, main net gas do how does gas work it's i can put this to one right like it doesn't matter i think it shouldn't matter but technically uh, we should we should just use what main net gas we would use so we could understand that this mm -hmm. is going to cost us 17 dollars through the through the routing there we go and it happens instantaneously too right like yeah because it's, it's already cool. all my eth is gone very nice hopefully your die goes up yeah, we need the uh, we need the uh, external. Here's here here. Let's I I know, I know where to get the die contract. Go to master branch, and in the app.jsx, I can just copy. This dog right here. Nope, not that dog. This one. So this is a, an external contract loader. Oh no, you probably don't have the external contract loader component though, or hook in this branch. Oh, it's there, it is there. Yeah. Okay, cool. So in the constants folder for anybody, any any scaffold ethers following along, following along in the constants file in, let's see, react source and then constants. We've got our die ABS and address, same place where your ether scan and stuff is at, and that should. Does it does it like the mainnet die contract? Yep. Okay, so we've got the die contract. All right, so now we could have actually done die. Ooh, we would have to put in this as the provider though. Yeah, so you'd want to use. Would you do uh, signer.connect to this? I don't know. Maybe we would do this a different way. Maybe the external contract loader wouldn't do it the way we want. So if you got the die ABI actually, so if you you could just instant like get me. Ah, uh, yeah. Me. Yep. Yep. So if I just go grab how the external contract loader works and just create one with ethers. Yeah, let me ping. Okay. Ping you again. This. It's just gonna be this, right? I got it. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make a second button. I, li I like this first button so much. Let's keep it around or this first function. Okay. And this time, oh, we, so we would need to get the balance. Let's see, signer, get signer. Yeah, nice. So I think it was die, it was die under, like if you just scroll up, yeah, there we go. Die address, die ABI. And 
and the signer will be, do we need to, is it this or do we just say signer? Signer, signer. I think, signer. yeah, I think that's, okay. So then let's get our balance. That right, um, and then designer dot address. Well, I'm, I'm making a lot of assumptions and trying things here. Let's just see. I'll probably break a few things and we'll come back and fix it. But right now, I'm just trying to get oh, whoop, get impersonator designer die, and let's put that on that button. Just get the because I think it's not, I think it's balance. Get balance, and it's a promise, so you need to await it. Yeah, so uh, here you do get balance, you don't do balance out. It's got to be it's an ERC no, 20, right? With balance, no, so, so it's a uh, you need to get like sign a balance. Um, or uh, no, yeah, no, sorry, yeah, as you were, as you were. <laughs> It's awesome. Let's see. Like, like, like I mean, it's it, it's get address, not dot address. I think, if that makes sense. So you need to, to get the signer address, like in a line above with a uh, no here. Yeah. Yeah. I see now. You want to await that one? Wait, got it. All right, here we go. Now we should get our balance in die. Oh, you, oh, you need to you need to put the address in there. Oh goodness. Might as well put some console logging here just to make sure we're doing things right. Hmm. Whoa, use contract loader. Where did I bring in use contract loader? Maybe it was that. It's like the button's firing some hook. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that was me. What have I done? The rules of hooks. <laughs> what have I done? This is in use contract loader. Oh, 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 oh. This is a, uh, yeah, ethers. I think that's a hook. It's not, yeah, it must be ethers.utils.com or is it just ethers.contract? I think it's just ethers.contract, ethers yeah. And for some reason, ethers isn't imported in here like it should be. Someone carved that out, I think. We are getting close, brother. All right, snatch some die. Wait, did it happen? I think it might have happened. I think it might, I think it might happen. Let's see, what's my... I mean, I had the 14,000. Oh, we probably snatched die from someone that didn't have any. We need to go to the that that compound address that had all the die, right? We, no, we uh, need to wait, we need to we need to send the die. I think we just got the balance. Oh, oh, it, but there was oh, there was a balance there too, right? Okay, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. So we've got the balance, we just need to ship it. We need to do a transfer. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we got it. So now we can just do another, yeah, await transfer. And with that we can probably wrap in a, can we wrap that? Yeah, for sure. Let's see. That, that's where you, I was saying the TX thing. Is that what? Yeah, it'd be, uh, I'm not even going to mess with it. it. It's okay if it, uh, I kind of like it. Let's see. Let's, let's have it fail on us at least. Okay. So we're going to do the die contract, my die contract dot transfer. And we're going to transfer to me. Ooh, this is getting weird, isn't it? Ooh, this is getting real weird. Let's see. Ooh. 
Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Did I do it right? Probably not. Let's see. Uh, look at that nice little local transaction. Now, what's my die balance? It's still 14,000. Maybe that person didn't have very much die. Oh yeah, they only had $6. That was, that was uh, Vitalik's $6. Let's yeah. go find now. Now let's go find the die contract. Ooh, hey, die. There we go. And then let's grab the top holder. Oh man, we're gonna have so much die in a little bit. And we're gonna copy their address. Oh man, here it goes. Snatch that die. Oh, what what happened? Snatch that die. Wait, I don't have gas? What? What? Mm. Wait, their account doesn't have gas because it's a smart contract. They got you. They got you. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> so uh, really, I could send some ETH to that address and then trigger it if I wanted to get real weird, right? Let's, <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do on, do, no, just do it from the faucet. Just drop it into. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So let's see. I'm going to copy this guy's address. Do it from the faucet. That's genius. There, send. Oh, but that guy doesn't have any ETH on mainnet either. Like the faucet shouldn't have any ETH because it's a known private key and anybody could steal that ETH if there's some in there, right? Uh, I think. Well, I think I think it should be. You should be able to send it um, from there. But maybe actually, oh, well, I think I think that probably that because you set the signer, you now can't send it. Oof. So you could send it from yeah. your own wallet, or you could Let's do. See. You could just send it some some of your like from the your wallet, right? Not the full set. Uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. So what we need to do is fund this account from this right here, right? Yeah. Send him like a hundred dollars. Yeah. Make darn sure it says local host right here. Oof. Oof. Oh, <laughs> it's a contract and it's not letting us send. There's no, okay, okay. We, we've got to go find a holder that's an EOA. <laughs> this, is the, this is the system working, I guess. Right? <laughs> yes, everything. And it's cool. It, yeah, it's, you're right. It's cool to see. Okay, this, this, this jabroni right here. 19 million die. It's a contract. No, 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 it's not. It'd be this right here. Is this an EOA? It's an EOA. Look at this. It's just an account that has never moved before. Just is sitting here holding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you know how life-changing amount of money that would be for any of us jabronis? Okay, let's see. We're gonna impersonate this guy instead. Do they wait? Do they have ETH? They don't. So we will need to fund their account. But what well, let's see it fail first. Let's see it fail. Yes. Okay because, oh no, we're, we've gone too far. This is a good error to get. We've yeah. spent enough time. Good thing we, we dicked around and it took so much time to get anything done because we wouldn't have gotten this error and someone else would have gotten this error and they would have been like, ah. So what has happened here is we run out of our window. There's about an hour long window where you can look back and then your node quits having that history data unless it's an archive node. So I'm guessing we need to change where we've pinned to a more recent branch. How do you, a refork? Do we just kill the network and refork? So I, I just kill it and refork. Okay. Okay. Here we go. And ooh, ooh, can we go watch our ETH build? Watch this. It was on 694. Oh, did you just see it? it you may not have seen it switch, but it's, <laughs> it, it went back to the most recent. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Kill that. Bring it back. This will just increment like one or something. Uh, whatever. Okay, cool. So now let's see. Now things have restarted. So my balance is probably back to the five. Yep, exactly. So start out by snatching some ETH from Vitalik for fun. There we go. And if we try to snatch die, something's going to fail. Okay, they don't have enough funds. Okay, cool. Great. But look at all these great errors. Okay, so now this dude this this nineteen million dollar die holder, where was it? Right here. Yes, this guy right here that has, and that's not even his like top ah uh, or her. It's not even their top top. Look at that six hundred wipe. Who is this person? 
They just all oh, there's so many zeros. Okay, but they ha- they're holding nineteen must be, million. Must dive. be someone's must be someone's cold storage. I th- some, yeah, some exchange, yeah. some exchange cold storage. Ooh, I hope so. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So this person doesn't have any eats, so they don't have any gas for us to steal their account, and send it to them. But like Adam said, we can just use this handy wallet component, paste in their account, send them hundred bucks. Make sure you're on localhost. There we go. Now, if we were to check their address, so if we go to Etherscan, obviously it's going to say, yeah, that person doesn't have any. Oh no. Do we get a, an error there? Let's let's go find out. We could double check this by just going here and push it, pasting in this address and getting oh, their balance. No, nope, it's still need, zero. I think you need to clear your um reset yeah, the your nonce thing. Yeah. yeah the, oh, the oh, this is another thing. Okay, so with within MetaMask, you actually need to go and go settings and go advanced and go reset account, right? Yeah. And that's yeah. gonna reset your nonce to whatever it is on the chain. And then when I do this. Oh, oh, no, 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 wait. I got to send it first. Yeah. This guy. That one, that error is, the, that's the bane of my existence. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, uh, over in the ETH build, there, they should have, now they have 0.8 ETH. They have enough to send us our die. We should be able to snatch die. Snatch that die. Woo. Oh, wait, we can't even see it, right? Oh, it'll, it'll show it right here, right? So if I, yes. uh, how do I, sw- how do I switch between these two? So if you switch, if you select die, it should um. As in, if you select die, it should just switch them in the in the top drop down. Ooh, but there we go. Look at man. Look this at widget that. is not ready for those sort of balances. <laughs> oh, can you imagine if your money caused the UI to have to do the like power thing? Oh, oh man, I don't even know what life would be like. Okay. That was awesome. Let's let's double check our die balance. I, I want to see. Let's see. How would we? Ooh, let's use a hook in the front end real quick. What do we got? A couple of minutes. Let's let's use a f- hook in the front end to do a read on the die con. Oh wait, was this broken? I think we tried to do this and it was broken. No, I think that one was okay. Um, uh, we want to use a uh, user provider here. I think. Well, yeah, local would work, I think. I hope that's fine. Local? Oh, let's... Okay, and then I want to be able to do uh, a contract, uh, uh, use contract reader, right? So, or is it... Ooh, darn it. Yeah, I just want to get my die address. <laughs> let's let's do it the easy way. Let's go... Nope, that's not easy either. Uh. Here, we'll just do the we'll we'll do your console log thing. Your console log thing is 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 a great way to test this. So it would be this setup we're doing right here, right, where we create Pretty the much. contract. Yeah. So if you just pass that in, I think you could just log you. I created a little button. Okay. That yep. goes over. You just you, you just got to do it before you run out of the archive node, because then you'll be poor again. <laughs> All right, we've got to get it. I think it's it's almost like sixty minutes though. I think you have quite a bit of time. Yeah. Alan's question mark. Okay, and then in here we're going to instantiate the die contract using the user. Wait, provider. Dot get signer. That, that's probably not right, is it? Uh, yeah, something like this. There we go. That's what we want. So I think you shouldn't, yeah, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it? I could, I could even do local provider here. Let's see if this works. My address is just address, right? We're just addresses already. Yeah, you could just pass that in. In the state. And then we want the balance of address. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, async, right? <laughs> Any bets? Okay, all, all we're gonna do is hit this and get a really big number over here, right? Okay, and then if you're following along, you do what format? 
ether here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Same number of decimals. Yep, because the die contract has 10 to the 18 decimals, but watch out, some social tokens and stuff have a different amount. And if you do that format, it's not going to give you. There we go, look at that. We've got our 19 million and 500. <laughs> Neat, this is awesome. Okay, so let's swap. Yeah, so now what you could do, yeah, so if you select die, just start in die here. Um, huh. is it gonna, there it is, yeah, there so it is, that. all of it. Two ETH, do the swap. Wait, I should have to approve first, right? Um, looks like you've already approved the Uniswap for basically infinite die. <laughs> Ooh, I probably have. <laughs> so if you like click before the, little, the fork. <laughs> if you set the little the little settings widget in top right. Okay. Um, uh, well, yeah, sorry, go and click die again. Oh, we need to do die first, right? Yeah, let's switch. Oh, no. Oh, man, I'm messing everything up here. Switch this to die. That's a good error, though. It shouldn't fail the whole page. Yeah, when do yeah that, was, that was just good user testing. If someone types F in here, it crashes your, yeah. You've done it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, oh, so and now with die in there, we can see that my router allowance is infin infinite. It's basically infinite. Actually, if you scroll yeah. to the right, of that, I think we let you clear your allowance if you want to. Ooh. Actually, you no, know, you've not. It's the, the, there's a <laughs> way to the right. <laughs> uh, let's see. We could we could inspect this. We don't we don't have time for me to be inspecting and making elements wider. This dog here, make it like. Uh, where's the width? I just do width. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh man, I can't even get it to go. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry. <laughs> no. Yep. No. Okay. Yep. So, so let's let's know that I I have an infinite uh, amount. Oh, whoops! Now I've logged out. Okay. Log in as me. I have a ton of die. Takes it a bit to query that uh, balance. I wonder. Okay. Now. And that's going to give me 37,000 or 13,000 ETH. Holy so, moly. So what we should look at here, like if you switch the price around, if you that little, so um, just next to that little guy. So what's that price? That's like 1,400. Wait. Yeah. Why is that? Is that because the exchange right now is, is trading weird? Uh, I think it's because it's also because, so if you enter just like one die in the, in the um, top bit. Oh, we're talking slippage here. We're yeah. So and yeah. switch, switch it around. Well, that's not worked either. That's not right. Yeah, eleven ninety seven. Yeah. There we go per ETH. Yeah. So, oh, um, so it's basically like if you buy, if you're buying that much, you're basically clearing the pool out. So you're gonna have to pay, pay for the privilege, <laughs> right? Um. So this, and I guess we quite, man, that was a hello. That was a big side quest. Uh, we're now on the <laughs> swap. <laughs> Can we do this swap? Will it work? Um, I think it should do. Like, we'll I don't see, know what, we'll see a big amount of money come in here if it works, right? Let's see. And what's the gas look like? If I was on 129, this swap would cost me 20 bucks. So for $20, I could move $19 million worth of a stable coin and get uh, $16 million worth of ETH back. So I, I just burned like $3 million in slippage. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome, man. That was, that was really cool. I think, what, what's up? And so now if you go back, if you just go back and yeah, see what one ETH now, if you like click on or just change the value. Of the oh, we've, we've swayed the whole, the reserves are off in the exchange right now. So right now there'd be a bunch of arbitrage bots like working it back to, to normal. To what the price is. Um, Neat. So one ETH is now worth, oh, wow. Yeah, okay, so by, let's see. So what did we do? We put a lot of dye in. Yeah, we put a bunch of dye in and took a bunch of ETH out. So now it takes a lot more dye to get the same amount of ETH, right? Yeah. Like the ETH is, 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 at a, is selling at a premium out of mm -hmm. this exchange to get it back to this price and arbitrage bots would would then start working through getting the eth back in there to make up for the big dent that we just made
except i mean the size of that bigger buy would that, that would probably move the market right like like that's this is how then you get those big old some of you could get those sort of big old spikes um but awesome it's really cool and like, like like the whole thing i guess highlight like uniswap is a super cool um like, like yeah talk about the routing for a second maybe yeah, right yeah, yeah. like it's so awesome so if you go back to if you go back to the the app um like and so eth to die is like a pretty standard one obviously um if you how about some small, sxp um, whatever that is whatever that is um and you give it a so so now if you just hover over the um arrow in the middle or click the um We'll click the settings as well. Uh, it's a direct. <laughs> we were looking for some routing though. So now if I, here we go. This is going to give us some weird routing, right? Yeah. So if I go with one of those, yeah, it's just going to use ETH as the middle. And so, and so the way this is working is that. There we go. Like, like you could theoretically do it with infinite potential pairs, but we've, like I basically took the biggest, the biggest tokens by volume on there. So you've basically got your ETH, your DAI, your USDC, your Tether, whatever. Um, and then what you give like Uniswap SDK is basically the states of all of those pairs. And then it will get basically say, okay, actually the cheapest way to do it, and this is quite an exotic example, I guess you're going to ETH and then to DAI and then to WBTC and you, you do that all in one transaction. Um, and that's But the it's the cheapest route. It has routed it for you and found the cheapest route using right. this now, now if you were using an aggregator or something above that there'd be it would swap but it would it would put some of it over here and some of it into uniswap and even going that much into uniswap it's going to route it that's yeah. it's so complex it's cool i gotta go i gotta go take care of some kids now adam nice. this is a lot of fun man let's let's do this more often happy bowtie friday yeah awesome i'll see you soon uh, probably for possibly a lend component right maybe that'll be coming up next who knows what we'll work on we we go in so many random directions who knows the next time we'll do one of these but it'll be soon and it'll be something cool yeah. all right see you later man this has been uh, a lot of fun i really enjoyed this uh happy bowtie friday <laughs>